In the last 200 years, scientists in the name of pioneering study have conducted some of the most bizarre and cruel experiments in human history. Here are 10 such creepy science experiments that may give you nightmares. Number 10. Three Jesus Christ. In the late 1950s, psychologist Milton Rokic found three men suffering from the delusion of being Jesus. Each man had their own unique ideas of who they were. Rokic had them live together in Michigan's Ypsilanti State Hospital. Almost immediately, they fell into an argument as to who was the real Jesus. From the very beginning, Rokic manipulated the patient's lives by creating fake situations to elicit emotional responses. At the end, none of the patients were cured. Rokic's methods were questionable and the results were inconclusive and of little worth. Number 9. The Monster Study In 1939, a stuttering doctor selected 22 children from an orphanage, saying that they were going to receive speech therapy. He divided the children into two groups. The stuttering children were told they did not stutter and were praised for the fluency of their speech, while the non-stuttering were branded as stutterers and were mocked for their speech imperfections. When the experiment ended, the non-stuttering kids developed negative psychological effects, which stayed with them for the rest of their lives. Number 8. Robert Heath's Electric Sex Stimulation In 1970, Dr. Robert Heath set out to cure mankind of what he thought was a disease, homosexuality. A 24-year-old homosexual male with chronic suicidal depression agreed to become the subject. Dr. Heath inserted electrodes into the subject's brain and shocked him. It caused sexual arousal in the young man's body. Next, he hired a prostitute, which ended into a successful sexual encounter. The man later reported that he has since liked to engage with both men and women. The experiment was considered partially successful. Number 7. Keeping the Dog's Head Alive in the 1920s, a Soviet physician named Sergei Brukonenko decided to test a theory of his through a very creepy experiment. He decapitated a dog, and using a self-made machine called auto-injector, he managed to keep the head alive for multiple hours. When he shone light, the eyes blinked. When he slammed something down, the dog flinched. He even fed food that fell out its throat. The head was indeed alive. Number 6. Madness Behind a Cure for Insanity Dr. Henry Cotton was the medical director of Trenton State Hospital, a large lunatic asylum. He was convinced that madness was caused by some kind of physical infection. In order to find the organ that was root of all insanity, he began removing the internal organs that he believed was causing the problem. First, he started with the teeth, then the tonsils, sinuses, and colon. Later, he even operated on unwilling patients with no formal training in surgery. An investigation finally brought his madness to an end. Number 5. The Lazarus Project During the 1930s, researcher Robert Cornish was convinced he had found a way to restore life to the dead. In cases where none of the major organs were damaged, he would seesaw the dead bodies to allow blood circulation while injecting a mixture of anticoagulants and adrenaline. He experimented on dogs. The first two attempts failed, but number three and four were successful. He asked the government to proceed with experimenting on humans. After much deliberation, his request was turned down. Number 4. The Aversion Project The Experiment Aversion Project was conducted during the apartheid in South Africa. Led by Dr. Aubrey Levine, the program identified homosexual soldiers from the army and subjected them to horrific medical tortures. Between 1971 and 1989, 
many soldiers were submitted to chemical castrations and electric shock treatment. When they couldn't change the sexual orientation of some victims, they forced the soldiers into sex-changing operations. Reportedly, as many as 900 gay men, mostly between 16 to 24 year old, were surgically turned into women. Number 3. Nazi Human Experimentation In the early 1940s, a series of notorious experiments were conducted in the German concentration camps. Unwilling prisoners were subjected to various hazardous experiments, which, to be fair, should be called medical torture. From chemicals injected into the eye of twin children to see if it would change color, to literally sewing the twins together in hopes of creating conjoined twins. Several horrific experiments were done that resulted in death, disfigurement, trauma, and permanent disability. Number 2. Tuskegee Syphilis Study between 1932 and 1972, the U.S. Public Health Service secretly conducted experiments on syphilis-infected poor lower-class African-American men. 600 subjects were selected and told they were receiving free health care from the U.S. government. The Tuskegee scientists continued the study without treating any patients, even the ones who showed positive signs of potential recovery. Several men died. 40 wives contracted the disease, and 19 children were born with congenital syphilis. At the end, out of the 600 participants who were manipulated into continuing the study for 40 years without the full knowledge of their role or their choices, only 74 lived. Number 1. Unit 731 in 1937, an Imperial Japanese Army undertook the most barbaric kind of experiments in the history of mankind. They built a huge complex with 150 buildings and brought in test subjects, including infants, the elderly, and pregnant women. The scientists froze parts of the subject's body and then let it thaw to study the untreated gangrene. Subjects had their limbs amputated and reattached to other parts of their body. People were operated on without anesthesia, including pregnant women who were impregnated by the doctors. To study the effects of untreated venereal diseases, male and female prisoners were deliberately infected with syphilis and gonorrhea. Subjects were also used as living test cases for grenades and flamethrowers. The list of horrors goes on and on, but the sad part is, the researchers involved in Unit 731, instead of getting punished, were given immunity by the U.S. in exchange for their data. Please click the subscribe link below to get updates on new videos from us.